<laughs> okay, go. Well, hi guys, I'm Lit. And I'm Coco. So, um, it's been a little while since yes. our last video. Mm -hmm. So, we arrived here in the Sarasota area um, back in the end of October 2022. Mm -hmm. And as you guys remember, um, our camper that we had was a 2020 um, Forest River XLR Boost 37 TSX 13. Yeah. So it was, it's done us well for the last year and a half that we've been full time. Um, had a nice party deck right. on, on the back. Right. And we, at one point, this, we were going to do a video of it, never got a chance to, but we loved it. Um, we just weren't sure about some, the garage area. It just felt like wasted, wasted space. space for us. And at one point, we were going to get a motorcycle, didn't. So we decided that. Um, we bought a new one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we wanted some additional living space. Yeah. Um, something that felt more like home. Um, so we did a whole bunch of research, mm -hmm. and we actually went to the Sarasota RV show, which was right before the Tampa RV show. Right. And we landed upon a brand new 2022 um, Alliance Paradigm 385 FL. Um, so we would be excited if you would come along with us and we'd take a tour of our new home. So guys, welcome to our new house. I'm going to go ahead and go over everything we have outside. Um, and then Coco is going to go ahead and give you the tour of the inside. So we're going to start off. I have two 30 pound propane tanks. Unlike our old camper, we actually have an abundance of storage. So in here, this goes kind of all the way through. I have my fishing poles mounted up top. My drying towels. These all slam latch doors. We have outlets on the outside. With the leopard steps. The double warnings. And this is what sold me on this camper. So this is all of the storage that I have. So right here I have all of my tools and everything I need to work on the camper. This one here once again, lots of storage. This next part, Coco and I nicknamed as the Moog table. So they're all magnetic latches. So this here pulls all the way out. Yep. And it actually goes back, if you want to come over here, Coco, it actually goes back a lot further. So we have our storage bins. Um, with all of our extra bits and pieces that we don't use on a daily basis. Easy, slide in, slide out, for easy access. Once again, I have my backup camera, the Furion. And then we have additional storage, same as on the other side. So we do have our 50 amp power. We updated and upgraded our uh, water heater. So we do have the Furion tankless hot water heater. Love that thing, it's a must. And here is the wet bay. So we have the Nautilus water system that allows me to fill my tanks. Um, it allows me to use the city water, um, dry camping, you've also got your cable, there's a few outlets mm -hmm. up in there, and then I have my um, water purification system, so it's a three canister system, and it actually takes my water, it gets everything up to include it, E. coli out of the water, so that way we have purified water when we're out at all the different sites. Once again, so there's the second um, 30 pound propane tank. This one here is the Leopard electronic leveling system. So this one is self leveling, uh, which makes it a lot easier for work setting up and kind of breaking down. Um, up at the front, there is actually space 
for a um, generator. We opted to not get the generator, but it does house the batteries and then additional storage. We also have the Kurt Rotaflex peripheral hitch. Um, much safer, less chalking, and a smoother ride for us. Um, so with that being the outside, I'm just going to kind of show you some additional items that we have on this. So let's take a little distance back. So this unit here actually has three AC units. Unlike our old one, we only had the two. Um, like we said, we do have the two awnings. In essence, they're almost the entire length of the camper. This camper is 41 feet long, so it's about a foot longer than what we had before. But let's go ahead and go inside. Come on in. So obviously this is the kitchen. Um, we really like this uh, model just because of the full-size refrigerator. A residential refrigerator, we didn't have that in our last RV. Uh, makes a big difference, I feel like. Um, also, oven. Um, they say it's a turkey size oven. Um, I don't cook, so I don't really use it that often, but it is nice to have as well as the extra burners. This is really nice. Um, obviously, the microwave. Um, lots of storage, too. We have quite a bit of storage. We have a good size pantry on this side, too, um, stocked. Really like it just because of the storage. And again, um, a lot of people use this. I understand is like a coffee station we decided to do a little alcohol station um, the sink is really nice that it's a deep sink that I like our last one I had something similar to but this has been really nice I mean I like the countertops um, dining area has been really nice we never had that um, it's a little tight um, sitting in and out four people I think would struggle a little bit but this has been nice just for the two of us for sure um, the other thing that I really liked is the fact this has a half bath. Um, it's a pretty good size. It is a little tight for half bath, but it actually works just for the two of us. It's not a huge um, deal breaker. Nice sink in there, too. Gotta have a look at that a little vanity area. Okay. So, this is uh, our front. A living room it's a step up a couple steps up um, we found that a um, lot more seating than our old place for sure we only had what one couch um, which wasn't a great area we love this little area um, these two recline which is really nice as well um, we added this little ottoman too for just blankets and things that once the slides come in, it'll it'll fit nicely here. Has a fireplace that puts out heat, which is really nice. There's also storage behind there. Um, a lot of nice lighting. Um, of course, shelving and whatnot here. It's actually really cozy for us. So this is the bedroom area. What we really liked too about this was the um, barn doors for sure. It's really different than what we saw. It's also a step, a couple steps up as well. Um, nice size king size bed that we really like. Lots of windows. Um, we did have to get a little creative with the um, vacuum and things for sure, just because we didn't have a lot of space for that anymore. Um, nice TV. Um, a lot of drawers, a lot more space. This is also opens and it's um, shoes. We put a lot of our shoes in there, so it's a nice little space. Um, nice wardrobes on both sides. And again, another barn door for the bathroom area. Um, we also have a washer and dryer in here. We have a combo unit, so that's a little bit more storage for us. And then of course the restroom, um, is really spacious. It's got a lot of room for, you know, different things. Um, we really liked also the shower. The shower size was nice. It has a little um, bench area in there. Um, a 
know. I mean, it's been really, really nice and spacious for sure. And then again, more drawers over here. So yeah, so that was the tour of the RV, our new RV. Um, definitely let us know if you have any questions. Going forward, I think we're going to do some more videos about organizational things, some gadgets that we've loved and found on the way, um, living full time. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, like Coco said, we're just kind of getting used to it, enjoying it. Uh, there's some warranty stuff that needs yeah. to be fixed on it. As long as you go into it with an open mind that things will go wrong and you're expecting it, you're going to do just fine in this lifestyle. So once again, thank you very much for watching. Mm -hmm. uh, if you haven't already done so, don't forget to hit that subscribe. It's free to do so. Um, leave us a little comment on what you like, what you don't like about the camper, and then whatever information you might want to know. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and then leave us a like. Yeah. So until next time, guys, bye-bye. Yeah. Um, so I, if you are ready, uh, we would like to give you a tour of our new home. <laughs> so it's stupid. I guess things that we were doing. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and, and for us, it worked. Jesus fucking Christ. What? Come on in. We're going to go and look at the inside. So obviously this is the kitchen. Um, I see, I don't know what to do, honey. Like I just don't. I Two levels there, which is really nice. Are you still going? Oh, Jesus. You okay? Definitely, you know, ask us, you know, give us some feedback as far as like what you want to see as far as that goes. I know our last, um, oh, fuck it. I, I don't know what I was trying to say, but I that's fine. I don't know what you were trying to say. All right. All right, guys. So. No, I think we did wave, and then... I don't know what's to say to her again. Fuck it. Okay. Okay, you got me to hold it? No, I got it. Let go. Well, that was stupid. <laughs> no, fine. Mm. Go ahead.